What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Chicks in Hogwarts, the Harry Potter pod, where we recap all of the Harry Potter films. We are now on the second movie. We are Chamber of Secrets, and we're chugging along. We are. So the first episode, we did the quiz in the beginning. We set the scene. I think we're all... I think we all have to take that quiz again on our own time. We will. Because I don't think we're all Hufflepuffs. No, and then Natalie was taking it to like for graphics to get yeah. the questions. And she said that based on what you select as the answer, you would get a different question. So I think that when you had the tab Oh, open, so I think it just didn't work that I did it work. all at the same time. Because I, yeah. I was technically all on like my account. So Yeah, which, that's what happened, I think. Yeah, okay. so like... And she got Hufflepuff randomly, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's no way we're something's working up. with a full team yeah, of something's Hufflepuff. Up. There's <laughs> something's no way. Up. Absolutely no way. Yeah. Uh, but we did that the first episode. In a few more episodes, we'll discuss that. We'll take the uh, test again afterward. Yeah, few, I think we're going to have to do it all on our own. A few movies deep. Let's start off with the notes. Yes, Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets... Um, constantly, and I think about it, it's one of my favorite scores when it comes to the Harry Potter movies because of the the Fox of Phoenix, the do 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 do. Okay, now you can read your notes. Quite beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That was a great intro <laughs> to my notes. Uh, here I go. If you okay. have any comments or thoughts, both of you, yep, jump Starting in. Starting from the beginning. Starting from the beginning. Okay. Damn, they grew up fast. Grew up fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> magic. They really <laughs> grew up. Crazy how that happens. Movie magic. I was movie thinking magic. about just the time in between filming. Probably they had to wait to yeah. see how well the movie did, and then they got to pick back up. Well, it's just crazy because they. F I mean, they filmed them all like fairly rapidly, but it's like, of course, they would all grow up. It is just smart that they, you know, originally cast very young ki ki kids who'd yeah. be able to <laughs> continue to do it. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. Imagine they'd have to, like, get in new people. Yes. Uh, Dudley's such a loser. Yep. Dobby is my alter ego. <laughs> just because of the way he, like, f feels so... B he does something, Dudley. right? He does something stupid. Yeah. Then he feels really, really bad after. Yeah. But then he does something stupid again. You know what I mean? It's just, like, I, I got a little sense of myself and Dobby. Okay. Uh, would you want a flying car? Would you want a flying car? I mean, yeah, for sure. I would only want a flying car if I was the only one who had the flying car. Or if there were only a select few people. I wouldn't want all cars to fly because then we're yeah. just dealing with traffic again. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a that's would be a disaster. And it I would like to have like control over my Constantly. car, which yes. they didn't seem to have. No. Uh, Draco Malfoy being taller than all of them is unfortunate because it automatically gives him the bully advantage. Mm. He's looking down on all of them, making them look small yeah. and puny already. Yeah. So him being taller is good for his character, bad for them. But it's it's really not by that much. No, it's not. But the way they yeah. film it makes okay. him a look a lot taller. A little bit more menacing. Yeah. Okay. I think I'd rather throw up slugs than actual throw up. Interesting. I'm going to have to disagree with you on I, that one. Because I genuinely hate throwing up. Yeah, everybody I mean, throwing everybody up hates sucks. throwing up. And there's just a but plethora like, of it going everywhere, but just like one slug. Imagine plop, knowing you're plop. no, no. That's one of my that's one of my favorite things about this movie too. Is they're they're like learning new spells and like doing new spells, and every spell like so many spells. It's like Latin words and like you know you can find the the origin like makes sense. You know, Lumos Maximus like yeah, makes yeah. sense, right? Like. But Ron just throws at it, eat slugs. And it's like, is that a spell? Or? And clearly not, <laughs> because it backfired. Yeah. Well, bad wand. Um, I feel like Gryffindor wins too much. Okay. That's why everyone wants to be a Gryffindor. No, I know, but they it's are like, a bunch of winners. You, they need to fail sometimes. Just us yeah. Hufflepuff here. Like, <laughs> yeah, can we yeah. win one? Yeah, well, that's the just... thing, because they're... they're um, for movie's sake, well, I'm not even yeah. talking about the team. Yeah. I'm just talking about for the movie's sake, it's like, they always win. What's the point of anything happening if everything can be fixed with a spell? <laughs> What's the point of anything? Well, not everything can. Not everything, but Harry breaks his arm. Yeah. Boom, fix. Not boom, fix. They gotta grow his arm back. True, but you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's what's the it, point of having a movie about magic if they're not doing magic? That's a good point. That's <laughs> that's why I write down these questions. Yeah. Fran. I don't write them down for snide. <laughs> <laughs> it's snide. Yeah. Snide. 
It's not. I don't. It's not. It's not. It's it's not. It's not. I'm just sure thinking not. back of the Roan Frank the Tank video <laughs> with me, and he's like, "Don't be snide." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I and then I get confused if it's snide or snide. Anyways, I think it's snide. Whatever. Um, I want to carry Dobby around in my back pocket. Yeah, <laughs> he's so cute. Love Dobby. The Chamber of Secrets being open is bad. Secrets are supposed to be secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Definitely. A Chamber of she- Secrets should remain closed. Should remain but a Chamber of Secrets. But it makes you... Yeah. The name alone makes you want to know, like, what are these Absolutely. secrets? Absolutely. Everybody Very wants to well, know a secret. It's a great name for a hidden place. Exactly. Yeah. Great name for a hidden place. Well, is it? Yes. Wouldn't you want it to be more just like, oh, like, Chamber the of closet? Chamber of Secrets? Like, no. If you, no, but if you, if you call it that, people are going to be like, How do what I are the in? secrets? Like, hmm. Good point. Yeah, I guess, but nobody even really knows what it is until it's opened again. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those kids didn't know what the Chamber of Secrets was until... But they wanted to know. Chamber yeah. of Secrets has been opened once more. Moaning Myrtle looks like a girl version of Harry Potter. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> there are some similarities. The glasses are very similar. For sure. I'm confused on if we like Professor Snape or not. Um, I'm trying to think of what Snape really does in the second one. Not much. Not much. <laughs> not much. But I'm just like, what? what's his deal? I yeah. did like that scene where... He put them against each other. I was like, oh, let's yes. go. Like oh, when Harry oh, Potter oh, and, and the dueling. And, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I like this movie better than the first. Okay. When did you have that thought? After the after the dueling? Yeah, mid, midway. I was okay. like, good good film. Yeah. Uh, wow, I knew that snake was a foreshadowing. Mm, Remember oh, in the, the first the, movie? Yeah, I was yeah. like, is that going to be yeah. a foreshadowing yeah. for Slytherin? Uh-huh. It's not necessarily foreshadowing no, but for it, Slytherin, but foreshadowing... Of Harry's Harry being able to link to, to Slytherin. Snakes, yes. And snakes. <laughs> to Slytherin. <laughs> to Slytherin. <laughs> Hermione is always taking one for the team. She's always taking one for the boys. That she is. Selfless. Yes. I feel like Malfoy is going to become a good guy one day. Okay. Malfoy is leading a pack of bitches. Yeah, when he is. When he's talking to those kids. Like, come on. Crab and Goyle are two Ugh. of the all-time funniest henchmen where they just, like, don't do anything at all. Nothing. Like, they don't do anything at all. And he's yelling at them. Yeah, he's like... And they're useless. Yeah, yeah. He's got the glasses when, when after the polyjuice potion, and they're like... He's like, I didn't know you could read. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it... I was just like, these kids. I actually think Crab... Side note about Crab and Goyle. I think uh, one of them, like, got arrested. In real life? In real life. In real life, like, towards the later end of the movies... And he's not in them anymore. Like he's in jail? <laughs> no, no, like he wasn't in like the other movies. So in 2011, actor Jamie Wallet, who played Vincent Crabb, was arrested for using a Molotov cocktail during the 2011 London riots. What? <laughs> he was found guilty of violent disorder where he admitted to sipping from a bottle of stolen champagne. The actor was cleared of intentionally damaging or destroying property with the Molotov cocktail that he was pictured holding. Um, apparently, he had the actress that he had, had an unfortunate, he had a diff- difficult time adjusting after the Harry Potter fame. So he threw Molotov cocktails around. <laughs> I don't know. So the, and the 2011 arrest wasn't his first. He was arrested for marijuana or before that, but you know, well, that's, sh- it was, that's a thing, but it shouldn't be a thing. And the actor's last... So he the last role he was in, he played Crab in Half-Blood Prince, but he was not in Deathly Hollows Part 1 or Part 2. What a downfall. Yeah. It's tough for Crab out there. I'm dying to know what the Chamber of Secrets is. Oop. I think I'm about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just stream of consciousness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Th- this became a stream of consciousness. Yeah. Um, I like Hagrid. People make mistakes. <laughs> yes. That's when they thought it was Hagrid yes. who opened yes. up the chamber of yes. secrets. One of my favorite things about Hagrid, too, is truly his... He really just does have a love for all, like, magical creatures. Mm-hmm. He always will give them a second chance. Yes. You know? Everybody He's deserves like, a second chance. He's like, Aragog, come on. Spider, he didn't yeah. do It's not his fault. Everyone deserves yeah. a second chance. Yep. Tom Riddle being Voldemort has my mind in an absolute tizzy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Does Voldemort just keep coming back in all different forms? Yes? Yeah. Is that a yes? That's confused. pretty much okay. a yes. Thank you. So that just answered a question. Very confusing, yeah. but Voldemort well, just comes back in different so shapes will, and forms. I will say the first two you definitely get. The t- this, this one is the most 
um, distant from the others. Like, after the end of the first one, and you're like, oh, there, you know, there is dead, this is like spear, whatever you want to call it. Like, there he goes. That matters more to the rest of the movies. Tom Riddle is kind of like a one-off Chamber of Secrets villain that is defeated because it's like, you know, the memory yeah. of Tom Riddle and the diary. And once that's, once the diary is destroyed, that is over. So he's done with now. Tom Riddle is done with. The memory, young, young memory Tom Riddle is done with. The Weasleys are just a bunch of clumsy folk who mean no harm. Yeah. <laughs> folk is very accurate. I have yeah. no idea where folk came from. Yeah. It's just me watching the movie. Uh, my last note. I'm so happy Dobby is free from the Malfoys, that cute little ugly munchkin. <laughs> and that's all I have. Oh, okay. Great. I love it. Those are all very good notes. There are some questions I want to go through as far as meeting new characters. Okay. Don't, I don't want this to feel like a quiz, though. No, no. I'm not <laughs> quizzing you. Not a quiz. Not a quiz at all. What are your thoughts of Lucius Malfoy? You've never... This is the first time you're seeing him. Uh, evil guy. Yeah. Looks very evil. Right? Looks very yeah. evil. He has a very menacing look. Very reminiscent to me for the Volturi in mm. Twilight. That's the vibe Good I get comparison. from him. Good comparison. And, you know, I don't like him. Yeah. But I'm interested in him. Did you catch him putting the diary in Ginny's cauldron in the in the store when you watched it or no? No. Like that, I, Neither yeah. did I. Yeah. No. I, I mean, wasn't. It's, it's, it's not that, that attentive. You know what I mean? No, no. It's like very I'm watching, hard to but, notice. Yeah. You, it's something you don't notice until you watch it like right. the second time when you already know that that is what happened. Um, what about uh, Lockhart? Big fan. Gilderoy big Lockhart? Fan. I yeah, think he's big fan. <laughs> <laughs> big fan. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah, no, I he, actually... Like he him. does provide good comedic relief in this one because there's not as much like some of the movies I there are like funnier moments mm -hmm. as they go on and he is very much needed in this moment for just being like a giant fraud yeah. and it's just funny kind of seeing like the wi like celebrity wizard aspect is very much a thing mm -hmm. like when Mrs. Weasley is just freaking out over him signing like their books and whatnot and how he just like wants yeah. to be around Harry Potter. That is very funny. And also like Harry Potter himself is famous. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Yeah, he is. He is. Did you write was the hair was the Hermione saving everyone uh about the Pixies? Did you write that down no, the Pixies? That was about her getting hurt and but oh. it but it being able yes. to help Ron yes. and Harry. Yes. Okay. That is fair. Because Lockhart, once again, like coming in for defense against the dark arts, doesn't really teach mm -hmm. him much because he's a massive, uh, a massive faker. <laughs> a massive. So, well, even do during you that like duel, him? you could you could tell he's like a big faker. Oh yeah. Um. No, I don't love Lockhart. He's like useless. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of like he's getting everybody. It's just a, a just a lying liar that lies. One of my. This is also. I'm trying to think like back to the flying car, Whomping Willow, the, when did you, did you suspect Dobby had anything to do with those things? No. No. I really didn't question Dobby much. Yeah. When he appeared and like his existence in the world until he started talking about, um, I forgot the line that he said where he was like, I'm lucky. It, it was something like sad where yeah. he was just like about the, like the, the clothes he wears or, or, um, oh, oh, oh no. Uh, Harry threatened to like kill him or whatever mm -hmm. it was. And, and Dobby was like, don't worry. I, I, they, I get threatened to kill five times a day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, in my head, I was like, okay, something's up. Like he's a part of some, yeah. some sort of abusive family, yeah. <laughs> which he was the Malfoys. <laughs> quite literally the Malfoys. Um, and then they get in trouble for, for taking the car and the howlers. I wish the howlers were used in more of the movies because that kills me every time. Ronald Weasley, <laughs> how dare you steal that car? I am still stuck on the car. Like, I am absolutely disgusted. Your father's facing an angry <laughs> at work. I, and it's entirely your fault. Like, you step one toe. You <laughs> see, Fran's losing us because we don't know the words. You know well, what I mean? She's Straight the entire movie. Memorized. She has okay. them all memorized. Um, I'm just... You're stuck on the flying just car. Just flying cars in general. 
Like, it got me thinking. Like, I almost got distracted for half, not half the movie, but a little bit after the flying car situation yeah. happened because I was like, hmm, people always talk about flying cars and, like, if they're to happen one day. But I don't think I want that. No. I don't think it'll happen. I'd rather be on the ground. What if you run out of gas in the air? You just so I'm die. saying, and then you drop? Yeah. Is there gas stations yeah. in the air? You got to make sure you I fill mean, up before you go up. I mean, it just becomes a problem with planes, and air traffic control. Have, do we feel like a, we'd be lower. Yeah, and then air do we traffic just have a world above us yeah. in the sky? Right, it's like the Jetsons. You know? like, right, not, right, right, right. Then yeah. it just becomes a whole Maybe other like thing. like 2,000 years from now. Yeah, we won't be here. Unless yeah. there's a potion that we can I would just, I'll take like a Hyperloop. That'd be cool in our lifetime. I would like, I would like that. Yeah. Yeah, like the super fast, oh, like to be like in DC fast in like thirty minutes. Oh, that'd be like sick. those ones that are yeah. I'm I think that. those are really cool. Don't they have those in like Europe and they're moving? They're not like yeah. not not fast. that fast. Don't they have them yes. in like Tokyo? Elon Musk is the one who's like, oh yeah, we'll have still not that fast, mm. but yes, moving yeah. in that direction. Elon Musk is like, oh, we'll have it like in mm. five years. Yeah, he's, yeah. Been, he's been saying yeah. that for a long yeah. time. Right. He's been saying that for a long time. It's gonna time. take five years just to even get them start building. So I feel like that won't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you feel, did you guys feel like this took like a, a little bit of a scarier turn? Like you're starting to see blood um, written on the walls. So I actually liked the turn it took. I like when Tom Riddle revealed himself as Voldemort. I thought that mm-hmm. was cool. How about Ginny? Did you like yeah. when they were like, it's Ginny down there? Yeah. I, I heard that it gets a little darker. Yeah. It, which it, I, it, it felt does. Le- and then it also like physically, yeah. like literally gets darker. Yeah. Like the colors that they use, like they get to, uh, yeah. while you're watching they get darker i, I felt um like it was less of a kid movie which i right. enjoyed yep the first yep. one very much felt like a kid mm-hmm. movie and i still liked it and i enjoyed it but i wasn't totally locked in whereas this one when i was watching it at the end i was like shit you know yeah. like i was like oh fuck like the whole like voldemort coming back in different forms like this tom yeah. Riddle thing like i said I had my mind in a tizzy yeah. i was like yeah wait a minute this man is just gonna come back at the end of every movie yeah. like he just pops <laughs> it at the end of every movie yeah. and then harry continues to kill him at the yeah. end of every movie um but it definitely that is had, i can confirm that's not how it goes yeah, yeah. I, I had a more in-depth feel like the first movie felt very surface level yeah. like we're just getting the setup we yep. talked about this though yep. it makes sense there's eight movies obviously the first one's going to be like a setup um you know it was a lot about the games and like learning mm-hmm. what the houses are whereas this one it's like okay now we know what the houses are we know what the games are but we're going to learn more about the things that make up hogwarts mm-hmm. hogwarts like chamber of secrets yeah. right there's a lot of things that go into this school and it's not just the houses like yeah. So I feel like it's just more in depth and there's more layers to it now. And the characters are, are growing up, which Noah said he wasn't going to like the last episode where he yeah. likes them as kids. I, in my head, I was like, mm, am I going to like them as kids better? I don't. I yeah. like them where they are right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I still like them where they are right now. I think when they're like older, older, and then maybe I'll miss the. Who knows though? Romance will be involved. Yeah, I guess. All that stuff. Yeah. Basilisk. Good villain, bad villain, giant snake. Do we? That's oh. a snake. Oh, um, pretty. I I liked. Yeah, I liked it because yeah. I felt it was a different kind of villain. Yeah, like usually villains are in not human form, but right, like more right, right. tangible. Mm. And I liked that it was a snake. Yeah. What do you think? No, I agree. I the the way that somehow they're all able to not actually meet the eye of the, the basilisk is yeah. very impressive for mm. every Sorry. for every character between the the camera for colin and mrs norris in the water and hermione's you know she like was starting to catch on so it you know the not you didn't have a, a moaning myrtle situation but the there's a lot of good like more animal stuff in this one too i think where the it's spiders. the basilisk the spiders, spiders. the um Polyjuice potion when Hermione accidentally turns yeah. into a cat. <laughs> I'm less. Yeah, she was coughing up fur balls. Yeah. Um, I was less interested in Hermione in Hermione in this one. Mm. She feels like she didn't have like a huge. Part I felt like she didn't have yeah. a huge role in this one, which would make sense. Well, yeah, yeah, she did get petrified. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, so she isn't able to really come through there exactly. at the end. She's not like in those final scenes. It is interesting now watching them back again that they that there is. There are movies where like it is all three of them and then there's movies where like it's two of them or one's out too. So for this one, yeah, definitely it's kind of becomes like Harry's moment to to save uh Ginny. 
the spiders the spiders used to scare me too and that's all i would always laugh at ron for being so scared mm -hmm. of the the sp sp why do you be spiders <laughs> i mean i'd rather probably go up against a the snake than the spiders yeah. the spiders are spiders just are just creepy. just the feeling of spiders on you um yeah. i had another and there's a lot of spiders in that forest yeah. a lot i had another spider. question hagrid you. oh hagrid uh it wasn't a question it was a statement oh. I'm more interested in Hagrid now. Yeah. I think the first one, I was less interested in him. I still was. Yeah, but yeah, he, yeah. Whatever. I was more interested in him this time. Although. Well, it's my favorite when he I, comes back. And yeah. Everybody cheers. I was definitely interested in him when they said that he was the one who opened up the Chamber of Secrets. Because mm -hmm. I was like, fuck, this is going to be a, like a good story yeah. or whatever. Um, it wasn't actually him. Yeah. So it was like. Framed. A, yeah. So, okay. You didn't actually do yeah. that. But I like how he's like, he's kind of just like a mentor for them. Mm-hmm. And I think we're gonna find out more about him. Definitely. So the first one, you know, we I asked you like interesting who what characters you were interested in the most. We listed them, we talked about them. So let's do that again. Uh, but first, guys, I hope you're watching along with us and you're having a great time. And if you are watching these movies, take some time, relax, chill out, crack open an ice cold Coors Light, and turn on Harry Potter. That sounds like an absolutely magical evening if i do say so yep. myself there's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill that's coors light the mounds on the bottles and cans turn blue when your beer is cold that way you know when it's time to chill coors light is cold lagered cold filtered and cold packaged like i said made to chill as crisp and refreshing as the colorado rockies perfect for a moment to unwind and the perfect moment to unwind is sitting on your couch end of your night you're in your, you know, you're all relaxed. The work is done. Errands are done. You're all cozy. You crack open a Coors Light, maybe one or two, depending. You know, these are long movies. And you turn on a nice Harry Potter film. Coors Light is the one we choose when we need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light in the new look delivered straight to your door, which is your Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. That's Coors Light dot com slash chicks and always celebrate responsibly this is coming from the Coors Brewing Company Golden Colorado so wait I want to go back to what your rating was not rating but your tier of importance for characters yeah we had these these were the options well this is the order I'll we just read the order that you did them for the first one so the order that of in characters you were interested in the most went Draco, Snape, Ron, Harry, Hermione, Hagrid, Neville, McGonagall, Dumbledore. Any adjustments to that, or do you feel the yeah, same? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll... I mean, here's the thing. Snape kind of just bored me. Yeah. So I, I don't know if I'm less interested in, in him now or more. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in him. Yeah. I, I just feel like I, I want him to be a bigger part. Yeah, I can't mm -hmm. figure it out. So... Uh, I think I'm less... I think I would put Snape above Malfoy at this point. I think we... So uh, you would start with Snape. I would start with Snape. I'm, I'm going to move Malfoy down just because... Like, Draco. We, we, I'm going to move him even further down. Oh, so Snape. Snape, Harry, Ron. Harry, Ron. Hagrid. Hagrid. Then I'll put Malfoy. Okay. Then Hermione. Okay. Take Neville off the list. Like, Not interested in Neville just, at all. I don't even. Okay. Like, yep. Fair. Uh, and then keep the the last two the same. We got it. We'll dump it. Yeah. I am more interested in Hagrid now. I'm still very interested in Harry and Ron. They've got me locked okay. in. Are there any ones from this movie that we just met that you would want to add to this list? No, I I mean, I thought that the Tom Riddle stuff was interesting, but he's gone now. Yeah. So uh, if he was still there, I would very much say mm -hmm. I want to know more about him. But we know about him. He's done. Yeah. But he, once we met him, I was very interested. Uh, I'm trying to think. Lucius Malfoy. Mm -hmm. No. I, no. I, I feel I, like... I, I feel like we just know. We yeah. know what they're about. Will Ginny? Draco go against his dad? There's more Ginny in the That's second... That's a good question. There's more Ginny in the second movie? I'm not too interested in Ginny per se. Okay. I'm interested in what happened with her, mm -hmm. right? And her opening up the Chamber of Secrets, yeah. obviously. And that's the the biggest part of this film. Right. But her as a character, I'm not too invested in. Right. There I'm are more a little bit more like plot holes, yeah. I would say, in this I'm one more interested in when Ron. it comes to like Ginny and the actual yeah. the chamber. Right. I'm more interested in Ron. Okay. We're talking Weasleys. Like, yeah. Yep. I want him to succeed. I want him to find his place. Very fair. 
What, um, so then we'll go favorite characters and least favorite characters from this one? Favorite characters, least favorite characters. Um, Dobby. Dobby. Favorite? Yeah. Okay. I really like Dobby. Yeah. I, he's all over the place, but I like him. Mm -hmm. Dobby. Ron. No. You're saying just favorite just from this movie. Yeah, just from like... Lockhart is my favorite. From, from this, this one? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go Dobby, Harry. I liked Harry in this film. Okay. We saw a little bit more yeah. angst from yeah. Harry here. Yeah. Dobby, Harry, Hagrid. He's becoming much more curious yeah. about his life. For sure. Dobby, Harry, Hagrid, Ron. You don't have to go through everyone, I'm just saying. Who Those are like the top. Those, yeah, I'm, I, I won't go through everyone, but uh, definitely, I think Harry is always an interesting character, but this one I just felt like... He's growing up a little bit more. He has a little more angst to him. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, a little more curious. So, yeah, I liked him in this film. For me, Ron, I think, is up there. It's just now that I've watched... I mean, I've watched I've watched this one a bunch. Um, and this one... Like, it just comes back to movies that... Or moments that I like the most. And, like, still laugh at. And that's, like... The butterflies, the howler, like all the 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 faulty wand, the eat slugs. Like I really, Ron, <laughs> just is cracks Clancy me Oak. up in this movie. Yeah. Um, as far as as far as least favorite, I don't know. I think it still goes to. I'm going back to like when I was little and was watching these two. Like Draco was such a little brat. It was either between him or Lucius because I hated Any how Lucius. I hated night. how Lucius treated uh, treated Dobby. Yeah, I would say Lucius just because Draco is a kid. Yeah. So for him, you're like he, you know, he's he wasn't steered the right way. Mm -hmm. He's a kid. Lucius is an adult. Right. An evil, an evil man. Right. And he's like dropping. Yeah. Evil Split diaries into little girls. Yeah. Cauldrons. This, <laughs> this poor little dog. Yeah. I also love the. The, the flu powder he traveled by flu powder in the beginning when he Harry ends up in the wrong place Nocturne Alley freaky place Nocturne Alley <laughs> there's you'll see more of Nocturne Alley but that's another one there's just good one liners in this one where they're like with the Weasleys that makes me love the Weasleys diagonally <laughs> <laughs> I like how you can just randomly put out a line I can't I but, yeah I've been, I mean you've seen it so many yeah, times yeah this is a one watch yeah it's one of my. It's I. Uh, I do slightly become that annoying person who like says the lines out loud when you're watching. No, that's like, okay. I do that. When I, I do that. During, I do that when uh, I watch like, Michelle. She's the man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Amanda Bynes is the Howler. Tatum, like, very up there with Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, the Howler. I do every single time, and Joe's like, "Can you please like not Ronald Weasley? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you steal that car?" There are some good one-liners in there mm -hmm. if you've seen it a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. One day, maybe I'll get there. One day. One day. Uh, Noah, did you give a least favor, or are you also on Lucius? I, I just think that he might not be important in the grand scheme of the movie, but any time I see Dudley on the screen, I'm like, this guy yeah, is yeah, the yeah, worst. Yeah, he's, he's a loser. He's, he just sucks. Yeah, yeah, he does. That whole family. Like, oh, they're terrible. Yeah. yeah. The, when are they going to die? That's, that was good that Harry, <laughs> Harry like, stuck up to them, you know? I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to watch th the third one. Is the beginning of the like Harry continually finds ways to like get in trouble right before school starts. So we're like, yeah, kind of has to leave. And then there's like the confusion of like he threatens to do magic, and they're like, you can't do but magic. So he's he's like, watch back. me. What? So he's going back, Harry. Harry to the to the Dursleys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he technically like has to. Like, but he doesn't like, have anywhere go to, to go. Weasleys. Those are his. Those are his. Why technically his guardians the well because he doesn't like there he, he doesn't live I know, with but the I feel Weasley. like when he left when he left, when he, left he was the like he have left. seven kids yeah. he was like I'm leaving like any place is better than here and then you're gonna go back after like f flying yeah, I, out it, it's you almost can't. yeah it's like you know you're still but a it's kid. also like you can't go unless you're invited <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> right right if I was Ron I'd be like just stay with me yeah yeah but yeah I mean look parents don't want yeah yeah it's they do have like a lot of kids already yeah <laughs> they have a lot of kids and it is the you know 
it is a way to keep those those Dursleys in the I like the conversation. I like Ron's dad. A, it was a kind little of bit like, longer. Like Phil Dunphy esque, where he was yeah. like, "Oh, like you flew the car, like <laughs> oh, like, oh no, that's bad." Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does he say about the? Uh, he's like, please, like when he says to Harry the to at, about the, what is the function of a of a rubber duck? <laughs> it's like he <laughs> loves Muggle stuff, yeah. loves Muggle stuff. That's his job. But all in all, Chamber of Secrets is a is a very entertaining movie i would say like it's non-stop it's long like this is this is a long two one. hours and 40 minutes yeah, i was gonna say is, azkaban is, is uh, i mean they're all pretty long but azkaban is shorter than yeah. uh, i saw that i saw it was like a yeah. 211 yeah azkaban, like, is, okay. azkaban How, is shorter than how Chamber many hours Secrets. are all the eight movies combined i want to know oh i mean they've eight movies six i mean it's gotta be a, pushing, it's gotta be like 20 hours it's gotta be pushing 18 hours uh to watch all eight combined would take a total of 19 hours and 38 minutes 19 Holy hours. that's almost yeah. a, full a full day, day yeah yeah it's eight movies that's yeah. a lot, yeah. it's a lot, it's a lot of movies, of movies. Um, and yeah when they but do I mean, run like some movies are like an hour and a half yeah, yeah yeah i mean when they run really long like the chamber of secrets is is very long i think watching it as like a standalone movie there are, it it can get a little confusing like towards the end you're kind of like wait what the fuck is happening and this is he a ghost is he a memory what's what's happening mm -hmm. like it is it is it it translates differently i would say book to movie than a lot of the other i guess the book books are movie. really long too right yes the books are very long as yeah. the books are very long as well um so shall we i didn't write down what our what our sorcerer stone scores were that we gave mine was a i think i did I think, a, I, think I, think I did a seven eight yeah I think i'm pretty sure maybe a seven two yeah no, mine was higher. i think mine was a, no no yours no, was I changed a seven it two to then lower uh, yours was definitely seven, seven two. two mine was like a 6.5 or yeah. like 6.4 or something yeah like that. yes it might, yeah okay so i'm gonna i'll do i will write it down for chamber of secrets so chamber of secrets any other moments anybody wants to talk about before we get final scores uh i think i wrote down discuss. everything mm -hmm. that I thought was interesting. I like when they confronted Lockhart. Like yeah. they, they're like more confident now. Yeah, pushed yeah. him down the thing. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm gonna give it a seven point six. Okay. Wow, that's a big jump. For it you. is. I liked it a lot better than the yeah. first. I will say I wasn't like yes I I'm obviously in but I wasn't completely sold yeah. after the first movie this one I'm definitely more interested to watch the third one yeah it took me a little longer to watch the second one from the first one whereas now I'm like excited to watch the yes. third one understood I I would say I'll give it a a seven point three oh so you so like lower this one than less than yeah. Sorcerer's first Stone one. just overall like yeah yeah interesting I'm actually um I'm actually on the same page with you. Is that one? I do love Chamber of Secrets, but just like full movie grade wise, uh, I did seven two Swords for Stone. This is like a this is a flat seven for me. Interesting seven zero. Yeah. Maybe I wonder when we'll get into the eights. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't want to take my score back, but I'm just gonna keep it. I my, I will tease that mine does start to jump once the what is your the third favorite one. movie? The third one is one of my favorites. My sister also said the third one is her really? favorite. That's the third why one I'm, is, I'm excited. Besides, like you know, of course, like I love the last the end ones, but um, the third one is up. We'll do it. We can go like every we can rank yeah. them when we get to the end. But the third one is up there for me. Yeah, my sister said the third and fourth are her two yeah. favorites. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then I just yeah. This is a good. It's also a good movie just for meeting. Um, you meet new characters like one, two, three. You really meet new characters, and like three, you meet people that are very important. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes one and two, like you see people that like Lockhart not coming back. He is, this is it. This is yeah. it. <laughs> this is R. R. P. His, this is his Did movie. Did you watch the uh, post credit the scene? No, with him. I didn't watch it when I watched the movie, but then to refresh my memory, I watched this like YouTube video, and yeah. I I didn't realize there was a post credit scene. I didn't know that Harry Potter was into the yeah. post credit scenes. I kind of had a feeling there was a post credit scene when I saw there was ten minutes left yeah. from when the movie ended, and I was like, I gotta. But go it was like a funny it. thing, right? It <laughs> yeah, was like, yeah, he was yeah. like Selling a new, yeah, yeah, like his story now. <laughs> yeah, it's just that like he's funny. like he's he doesn't remember like anything. Yeah. He's just like yeah, yeah. That's I think, funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that doesn't really continue to be a thing 
Yeah. What do you think um, Rotten Tomato score for the first two? Guess. Oh, I don't know. For I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever actually looked to the Rotten Tomato scores for the Harry Potter movies because I I feel like it'll make me angry. Guess guess for the Sorcerer Stone. I would go like sixty. In Chamber of Secrets, in like fifty five. I'm gonna go forty three and and fifty two. Forty three. The first one has an eighty one. Really. And the second one has an eighty two. Oh, oh I was all... just going lower because based <laughs> on your reaction. All... I know the way you said like you see that Ron yeah, yeah. Scores, I, was I was like, like oh, shit, how low you know are what's they? Interesting. The budget for the second one is lower than the one than for the first one. The budget for the second movie is a hundred million. It says, and the first one is a hundred twenty five million. Start with a bang. I guess, you know, you gotta, yeah, you got to you got to get you got to pull people in. Interesting. This is the first time. And I feel like also they probably like you need more money to fully create the the wizarding world yeah. to start off and then maybe you don't have to like the second one you don't have to build as many things. Also funny yeah. that the director's name is Chris Columbus. Chris Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. So hero the third, or villain? <laughs> the third one, no. the third one everyone the third one is very different. You guys are going to sense it right off the bat. It's a different director. So Alfonso Caron does the, mm. d- is the third one. Obviously like very Dumbledore. famous what, director. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what movie did he do that was nominated uh, he, recently? Um, I believe he did the space movie, right? With um, Oh, Gravity? Gravity. Yeah, he did Gravity. Yeah, right? He did Gravity, uh, Roma. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting. I just oh, Gravity so the, the third one's got to be... Children of Men. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never seen Roma. I just saw Gravity. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so it has a... Uh, well, I wonder how, why that It has happened. a different feel. Why did they switch director? Um, Why did they switch directors? Like, it seemed like it was going well. No, I know. I, I <laughs> They kind of talked about it in the special, and now I forget. Yeah. Because they talked to all the directors and they, but I think like, probably, I think contract. Chris Columbus, it was just like a lot. Like, I think <laughs> he had, he's to, still he a, had to discover he's new still land. a producer on the, on the movies, but I'm not sure. He said he, t- he did. Oh yes. He said he always felt guilty leaving the, the, um, cast, but that he was just emotionally, it and physically exhausted after doing the two movies he said sorcerer stone apparently sorcerer stone took 160 days of shooting which is ridiculously long and then immediately after they stopped shooting they started shooting chamber of secrets which was another 160 days so that's roughly 320 320 days that's a full year for both movies um he said he this was an interview from 2011 he said that he um could barely speak and felt emotionally and physically exhausted. Taking care of one's mental health is absolutely legitimate. He's right. So he uh, he said he wanted to see his kids. He was missing dinner. He had like really young kids at that time, and he like didn't get to see them. Um, and as a producer, like he didn't have to be there all the time, so we got to spend more times. But yeah, that that is what he said during the reunion. I forget because in the reunion he brought up he was like I did always feel like really guilty about leaving because they had like created a good bond and because he had like young kids yeah he felt like he was like being a dad to like all mm-hmm. these really young actors which is also True. like kind of emotionally draining yeah. Yeah. just a lot to take on you know, in yeah to like especially when he did the first two so he's working with them at their youngest when they were you know it's hard to get a room of 11 year olds to like fully to pay attention yeah. and do what they need to do. The, the first two movies were released on the same exact day, November 14th, 2001, November 14th, 2002. I didn't realize there's only a year. That apart. is actually crazy how much, how quickly they grew yeah. up. Holy shit. Yeah. I yeah. thought there'd be a lot more time in between. Well, think about like when you're in like middle school, you yeah, change fast. True, eleven to like twelve to thirteen. Yeah, you can have a years, like you look yeah. six to seven to eighth grade. Like you can look so different. True. Oh, and then yeah. but the third one is two thousand four. So third Prisoner wow. of Azkaban is when uh, damn third one is Draco Ron Tomatoes. You'll see Draco has uh, like looks so much. They all do, but Draco looks so much older in the in the third one, and that was when I. That's when I was like. Mm. 
<laughs> Tom, oh, maybe I kind of like him. Kind of good. <laughs> he stops doing the, the full like slicked uh, back. Interesting. So yeah. Anyway, I don't want to talk too yeah. much about the third one because we'll do that after yeah. you guys watch. So I think that wraps it up for Chamber of Secrets. This is a good one. We got a lot of good discussion. Met some new characters. Ready to move on. And there will continue to just be so much more. I'm, I'm excited because now, like, pieces start to fall, you know? I'm excited yeah. as well. <laughs>